Hi everyone, it's Selena here. Thanks for joining me on today's lesson. Um, I actually got this um, idea from Facebook. Someone was um, asking a question on how to create a certain card. Uh, and I'm going to flip over to Facebook so that you can see the card. Um, it's actually from Make It Now. And um, Laura here posted her um, example of, of the Make It Now. So as you can see, it's one card. This is just one card. She has glitter paper right behind this cutout. Um, and so someone was asking how to create their own doing this type of design. So I wanted to show you on how to do it. I'm just going to use like a Valentine's Day card as an example. I went ahead and pulled in some images. All of these images are from Design Space. These hearts here, these hearts here. Um, the Love You Always, I just inserted some text pick the font that I wanted it to be and then I welded them together um, because with this look if I'm going to go back to the card you can see that in this design everything is connected everything is connected the happy holidays is connected together you're trying to get everything in one piece so that's why I connected these two here um, I actually need to make them a little bit bigger so that it's connecting the two. I don't want them too, too big. What I can do is I can use these hearts here to kind of fill in um, so that I can make everything connect as one. So you can also use images from Google. Uh, like I said, when you're trying to do a card like this, you just want to make sure that everything is kind of together. You don't want to have too many different pieces not connecting because then you're not going to get the look that you're going for um, going back to that card on Facebook. So um, so I, I went ahead and put the love you always there. Uh, I'm just making sure that everything is connected. I have my set canvas um, set right now um, to the A2 card size which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, and then I went ahead and inserted my own rectangle and score line and I just used that set canvas as my template and added and attached that score line there so I have that move over, moved over to the side there. Um, and then I added some extra hearts just so I can fill in and make sure that everything is looking great. I don't want to have too many um, white spaces there. So I'll go ahead and add some more hearts in there um, to show you. What I went ahead and did, the reason why I moved my actual card base over to the side and I used the template is because when I'm moving things around, um, I don't want to be accidentally clicking on my card. Uh, it just kind of, to me, gets in the way. The less, the better. So I like that this template here, it's just a picture. There's nothing there for me to move around. So I like working on on the set canvas instead of my actual card base. Okay, so as you can see, these hearts extend past the edge of my card, and I'll be using a rectangle to slice off those edges, and then I'll also be insert, uh, using that same rectangle, I'll duplicate it a couple of times, because then I'll also be welding. And I'm gonna just duplicate it a couple of times there. I'm also going to tell you that because I'm using slice and weld and um, quite a bit of it within this design, just know that you're going to be getting some glitches. Um, you'll see in this video that there's going to be um, my shockwave plug-in error is going to pop up several times and there's just really no way around it. Cricut is aware that there's issues with um, slice and weld and they're working on it. Um, but what I do is I just let the program do what it needs to do and I wait it out um, and hopefully it just doesn't give me the circle of death that everybody um, dreads where I have to start over. So right now I don't even have my project saved which that's something you should do. I already have some stuff in there you should save it. Um, but you'll see that when I get that error message I don't do anything. I just let it do its thing and then I just wait until it's um, kind of refreshed and did everything I needed to do and I go on to the next step. Um, also another warning to do uh, to give you guys is that whenever you are designing something that has weld and slice 
Um, make sure that you're when you're designing it that you want to go ahead and cut the project when you're done designing um, before you actually close out of the project completely because sometimes when you go back into the project it's not saved the way you wanted it to be saved it it has like it it's like it um, got corrupted or something your your design is just not the way it's supposed to look or sometimes you even lose your entire design completely it just doesn't ever open up so that's just um, kind of a rule of thumb that I kind of have learned along the way because I have lost some projects in the past um, and it's just because like I said Cricut is aware of the issue and they are working on it um, so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start duplicating some more of these and then um, start filling it in just so that I don't have all this open here down at the top and the bottom um, but like I said, I went ahead and du duplicated this rectangle because I'm going to be slicing these edges off of the hearts because I don't need that. So I'm going to select this image here. I'm holding my shift key down and I'm also selecting the rectangle and I'm going to select on slice. Okay. And... Hmm didn't slice that part off. I'm going to undo it. Try it again. And sometimes it doesn't always work out perfect the way you wanted it to um, the first time around. Um, there, you know, there's several times I have to play with it over and over again to get it right. So, okay, let's just keep that part. I'm going to do the same to this edge here. Select the two and slice. Okay, those cut great. Move this down a little bit. Okay, and then I'm also going to um, make my border. Okay, so I just use as, that as a reference. Let me move all these panels over so that I can have some room to work. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this rectangle and then make it just a little bit smaller right within there. and this is going to be my border. So I'm going to select these two and then I'm going to slice these two. Okay. And I might need this for something. So I'm going to keep that there. Okay, I'm going to bring this back over. And then I will weld all of these together like that. But before I do that, I'm going to move my text out of the way. I'm going to move this back over. And then I'm going to start using some of these. Actually, you know what? I shouldn't have moved my text out of the way. I need that text there so that I can see where to place these other hearts. And then once I've placed those, then I will um, move the text out of the way. Well, you know what? I'll just weld them all together. That's what we need to do. Okay. Let's put that one here. Make it a little bit smaller. Let's duplicate these some more. And don't worry about the colors because once you weld everything together, it's going to be one color. Put that there. Make this a smaller. that there. Put 
Okay. Now I'm selecting all of it together and click on weld. I'm probably going to get another error message. There we go. I'm not choosing stop plug-in. I'm leaving it as it is. Okay, it's all welded together. Now I can change it to like a Valentine's color. Let's choose red. And let's move my card base over. Here, and let's change it to a pink. You can add some more hearts in there if you wanted to fill it in a little bit more. Um, but that's just, that's my example of showing you on how to use um, slice and weld to get that look. Which you can also do too, I'm going to go back to that picture, because this is, this is one card, this is one layer, everything's connected. What you can do if you didn't want to layer this on top of your card base, you can, uh, I'm going to detach this. I'm going to detach this card base because, how, well, I guess my score line is not there. Maybe I have a hidden, there it is, it's hidden. <laughs> okay. What you can do is put this right over this. Maybe make it a little bit smaller so you know it's not hanging off there. Okay, and then attach, uh, select these two and, and click on weld. You know what? That's not going to work either. That's going to turn it into one blob. Let me undo that because that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> See, it turned, it just, it disappeared. Okay. What I needed to do was just make this smaller here. Okay, I totally messed that up. Sorry guys. Okay, so let's get this back to the size that I need it to be. That. And then, so let's go to edit. This is five and a half. I want to match this up. Here. Okay. There we go. Now you want these two to be welded together. And this will make one card. a little off here. Okay, now select this one and this one and then weld. Okay, there's my other error message because I'm just doing so many welds. Once that's welded, then you can take your score line, put it right here in the middle. Uh oh. I'm making it work too hard today. Okay, there we go. Let's change this to white and then we can use this as our second layer here if you wanted to use like a red glitter uh, glitter paper put that right behind there something like that maybe okay then that's when you can attach your line here Select this card in the attach line, excuse me, the <laughs> score line. That, click attach. 
and then we're going to go to the go screen. I just want to make sure that it looks everything looks great on the preview mat. Okay, those are attached. Let's click go. So I should have two mats, one with my white cardstock with the score line attached, and then one for my red glitter paper to layer right behind the love you always. Don't mind this purple, this is from a project before. And there you go, so there's the first one, and then there's the second one, and so it shows that there's a score line, and it's going to cut, and then this one's going to cut. So I hope that helped you. Um, if you have any questions, leave me comments below. You can find me on Facebook. Um, send me an IM through there if you have any questions. Um, also, I'm going to add text in here. I'm also going to add it in the description box below. But visit me on my website. Um, this is not the right text to be using for that. Okay. Um, check out my website. Um, it's uh, Two Hearts, One Love Designs. It's kind of lengthy here. Weebly.weebly.com. Um, I try to update this at least weekly, but you'll find um, more tutorials on there, um, tips and tricks, and um, you'll find my YouTube channel. I also have weekly classes live, and that's through Google Hangouts, and if you just head over to my website, you'll be able to find out how to join those. Um, I have them every Wednesday evening and they're free. So they start up again next week and next week we'll be covering actually Slice and Weld. And then the week after that we will be covering, I'm actually going to do a, a tutorial on Inkscape on how to create an SVG from um, a coloring page online. So like I said, visit that page, uh, send me any questions, and I hope this helped you out, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks!